help the situation calm down. See how the black people try to help the calm the situation right. calm down. This guy came over to put in a good word for her after talking with Christina in the background, and then she immediately walked over to pay him directly in front of the cops. <laughs> That's right, don't feel safe. Oh my god. What is that? Mm -hmm. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Okay. Stop. Yo! What's happening? It's your boy, C.W. Davis, the Papa Bear Comedy. And of course, I went my road dog, Gingerbread Me. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> bro, you already know what we watching. <laughs> My dog, you already know what we watching. It is part three. Yes, part three. I said it. Uno, dos, Tracy. Is that how it's Tracy? Tris, Tracy. Um, my bad, Tracy. Uh, anyway, we are watching part three of when Karen try to attack the police. Yo, we already saw what happened in part one and in part two. Okay, bro, we left off with Terry's charges. You already saw what it was before with that crazy woman. But this time, we gonna go into part three. I hope y'all motherfuckers is ready for this right shit. Let's get go ahead. We gonna dive into this thing like some good giant. <laughs> Your rage and Karen's often go hand in hand, as this next one not only displayed entitlement and physical violence, but also resorted to racism. This officer Ooh, was called to a bar on the night of August 11th, where there was Ooh, an get good. allegedly attacking multiple people and causing a serious disturbance. The woman was quickly identified as Christina Cabot. Ew, why her nose the look like that? Mayor of the town and someone who has clearly overstayed her welcome at the bar. Her and nose look like it's part of the glasses. Ugh. Uh oh. see, you already know what happens when the white guy come outside and want to talk to the police. I'm sticking up for the black woman. I'm trying to get some poo tag. I'm going to be her white knight. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? It's nighttime and he's white. Okay. Other patrons of this bar detail exactly what Christina has been doing to cause the disturbance, and it's clear she hasn't made herself popular. This is also the second time today that police have been called to remove her from a bar. She's been intoxicated oh, nearly the no. entire day, so the police decide it's time to have a chat with her and get her back to the We're station. We're gonna put you in time out there, Missy. You know what happened to me. What happened? What happened? What happened? You tell us. Okay. Uh, I don't know what happened. Where you been? What the fuck are you talking about? And you're gonna pretend like you don't know what happened to me? No, we don't. Why are you stumbling around? My dog, this looks bad already. Even though the police department dropped all the charges. What charges? What did you do? To investigate me when they had no right. So what does it have to do with tonight? Nothing. They had no right, but they had charges against you. What the hell? You should go ask them. So they've already told me. They what said they that you were pushing people and touching people. You were being bad. Trying to push people off their stools and acting yeah. disorderly. <laughs> Christina lets the cops know that she believes the city of La Crosse, oh where they are, is out to get her and her husband. Evidently, the police have investigated her in the past and dropped the case, but obviously there's oh, something bigger shit. at play here, or at least that's what she's trying to insinuate. In reality, Christina is extremely intoxicated and looking for any reason to blame Joker. someone else for the. I 
I'll bet you like this crazy And asshole. a way to get out of this situation. This is sad. talk to him. Hey, Tom, why you think about me? I didn't touch you once. Right? You better tell her, Paul Bunyan, I ain't touch your nasty ass. She needs somebody to be her friend. The police are told that Christina was politely asked to leave the bar multiple times, to which she violently refused, becoming both verbally and physically abusive, starting fights with anyone she could get her hands on. At See? one point, she even sat down in the middle of the bar and began kicking and screaming like a child. It was oh my God! Called to the scene. Snatch her ass out that bar! No, we're not gonna go inside, ma'am. You know my name. You go in there. Oh my god, this is bad. We're going to be able to treat me like this as long as I live here. Oh my god, you got to live there. That's a bar, lady. You're here. I did nothing wrong. Yes, you did. Because they're white. What was the other call? Same thing. Oh, oh boy, the police are already there. Good word for all the money. That lady right there, she's an okay lady. She's okay? Yeah, she's an okay lady. Okay. I appreciate that. Wow. The black dude sticking up for her because he trying to help the situation calm down. See how the black people try to help the calm the situation calm down? This guy came over to put in a good word for her after talking with Christina in the background, and then she immediately walked walked over to pay him directly in front of the cops. <laughs> Rachel, I don't feel safe. Don't, don't, don't safe <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey yo, she bribed him. Job. You want me a couple dollars? Hey, yeah, you want me a couple dollars? I'm going to go over there and tell the police I'm a good person. Thank you. Ma'am, is it okay if we talk over here for a second? I do this for real for real. You go over here and talk to me. My name is Christina, and you know me. I'm just calling you ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. Why? Thank you. Christina. Thank you. Hey, my nigga gonna dip. Don't dip. I don't know what Get up out of there, cuz. <laughs> Pay a couple of dollars. I'm gone. She a cool ass white lady cuz she gonna give me a couple of dollars. <laughs> I like her cuz she a cool ass white lady cuz she gonna give me a couple of dollars. <laughs> As long as I look at the police, cool as hell. They're like, let that man make his money real quick. Her dumb ass want to give him some money. Due to everything that's gone on so far, the cops decide to put her in cuffs and take her to jail for the night. <laughs> Frankly, it's impressive that even while restrained, she hey, yo, this shit enemies. is hilarious. On the way back to the car, she refused to cooperate and made her legs weak, forcing the cops oh to drag my God. her. And even that wasn't the most annoying thing she did on this walk. I need you to put that wallet yep. in my yep. purse. I'm going to carry it all the way over there. Okay, just like no, this. I want you to put it in my purse. Well, let's, let's go and then we'll oh, make it happen. Oh, man, okay? this is... <laughs> she paid him over a couple dollars, and the police is like, go ahead, get you, get your bread real quick, God. I'll let you later. It's fine, problems. Is there a reason why you're doing this, Christina? Yeah. Oh! Ah! Go ahead, Tarzana. Please walk. Just, no, just walk. walk. Can we walk over here, please? Nice. Oh, lady, just walk. Christy, can you please sit in there? No. We're, we're trying to be decent, no, please. No, I want you. Please. You've been I don't want you. I don't want you. You actually can't believe that, that doesn't have anything to do with you. Yeah, it does. I didn't do anything. No, I can't. Oh my god, this is... After acting like this all night, you'd think it'd be time for her to drop the act back at the foot station. In the but car! She thinks differently, choosing to make the entire team's lives as hard as physically possible. Uh, Christy Cabot, she's not real cooperative. She wants to sit in the, she's not resistive. She just wants to sit in the squad cars with us. Force her in there. So. Yeah. Christy. 
Percy, right? Yeah. Come on, Christy. Was she sleep? Was she sleep? She was sleep. Come on, fellas, help her out. Oh my God. Sit down in the chair, Christy. You're doing too much now. You're doing too much, Christy. No, you're not you helping the situation. God, I must be so violent. Can I please? Whatever this is, I hurt. Let me go. And also, this hurts. Whatever this is, The cops finally managed to get Christina into a wheelchair so they can properly bring her into the station, kicking and screaming all the way there. Oh she was charged God. with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest, as well as firmly placing herself on the bad side of pretty much every cop and civilian in the entire town. Christina showed exactly how awkward Karens can make situations like this, but this Karen is perhaps the worst of them all as she was arrested for going on a racist rant at a group of Muslims. Ooh, no, she had she just didn't. been detained by police in Walgreens and had her plan to make the officers' Ooh, lives Walgreens. as awkward as possible. But this cop is here. When people will get their medicine, it's always a problem. Man, no weapons on your they be ready to no. box when they go get their no, medicine. No. Okay, stand up for me, please. No, I just make sure you have like, any weapons like, on your I don't know. Turn around. I don't want to. Under arrest for battery. I didn't do any battery. No, when you spit on people, that's battery. You oh, yeah, I nasty ass, ass girl. Verbally abused me. Well, that doesn't give you the right to spit on them. That's what you verbally abused me as soon as I got here. I spit on you. No. You're under arrest for battery. No. All yeah, right then. That purse. Yeah, they're handcuffs. They're not so? Can I take my purse? Absolutely. Come on. Oh, Let's please go. don't. No, oh, don't no, you're definitely me, going to jail. Let's go. Walk. Mm -hmm. I, can I leave my car here? Uh, that's absolutely fine, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is can I leave my car here? Like, you're gonna what? You're gonna drive to jail with them? Let's go. What would you been to do? Like, I'll follow you to jail. Yeah, sure. Come on. God bless you. Yep. God bless me. God, because I'm a Christian. Oh, I now you're a Christian. Christian. Talk like you. This cop managed to get her in cuffs and out the door in record time. But he still has to get her into the patrol vehicle and mm, back to mm, jail. Mm, and this mm. Karen isn't going down easy. Confirm for Please, me don't or. Do this. Please. I didn't do anything. How about you just stand there and stop talking? How about we do that? How about we do that? That doesn't give you an excuse to act the way that you're acting. Ooh. Okay. Not just stop talking. Ooh. You have to leave. We'll take care of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. You guys have a good one. This officer saw me last night. I've been having a lot happening in my life. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. 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 But you, you apologize. You apologize too. I apologize. I'm not a racist. Yes, you are if you did that. Okay? I have friends that are Muslim. Oh, now you... You see, that's the most racist oh, shit to say. I, all, you always have friends that are that racist so when you no. okay, when you so do so something was, wrong and you're being called a racist. You you're being called a racist. This is... This, oh. God bless you. Now it's God bless you. Get in the car. Take her to jail. But they decided, as the victim, that you were not going to jail. Really? They forgave you. The particular shut up, listen. The particular group that you decide to mouth off to were professional or nice. Some people might kick you in your face and then we're gonna come pick up the pieces. So I suggest you watch your mouth. In an act of extreme kindness, the group of Muslims she spat at and was racist towards decided not to press charges and asked wow. the police to let her go. But somehow, wow. even that isn't enough to stop this woman from running her mouth. My wow! Did anybody get her 14? Look at, look what you did to my aunt. You should be going to jail. Huh? Oh. You should be. Get me my purse, please. Hey, you got, hey, you got a, you got a 14? No, I'm getting, no, I thought, I thought he was holding it. Get your stuff and leave. What do I do with this? What do you do with what? Oh, that purse. That's unfortunate. Well, I've never had this happen to me before. Then keep your mouth shut and you won't have it happen again. Literally, keep your mouth shut because you spit on somebody. Listen, you, you don't know what he did to me. You don't before. have the right to ask me how to talk to you when you're disrespecting people. Right? Literally spitting on people. Gather your belongings, count your blessings, and leave. 
Yo, you better. Oh my behind. God. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need to look and that I, up. And I go to Calvary Chapel. You need to. Re right. That's concerning. That's, yeah. Yeah, very concerning. Yeah, we'll talk to Pastor Doug. I, I will. Actually. Wow. Pastor, let him know how you feel about. Are you gonna bring the pastor here? into it? For sure. Okay. Yeah. Eleven a.m. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Go home, lady. Thank you, officer. Thank you, officer. Oh my God, you're respectful. You're respectful. Of course, not. Thank God for President Trump. Of course, that's what she is. Yo, ah, yo. Oh my God, y'all. That was absolutely. Yo, that was absolutely out of this world right there. I don't care what nobody said. Yo. That shows you right there the integrity of some really good people. She was racist and spit at those people and disrespected those people and disrespected the police when they got there. And they still said, no, let her go. Let her go. Don't even waste your time. Don't waste your time. And she's, she's nothing. Let her go. She's just a waste of space and time. That is crazy. They, wow. Wow. Big ups to those people who, who caught all of her nastiness on the other side of her racism. That is crazy. That is crazy. Yo. Bruh. This has been another episode. From your boy CW. <laughs> These Karens are wild, bro. Like that stuff. Like when you, when, it's just so ugly when you think you are entitled to something. When you think you are entitled to something, that it just, it just looks so bad. It just looks so bad when you think you are entitled. Check your ego, y'all. Check your ego, cause no one's better than anybody else. Remember that. I am C W Davis. This is the gingerbread man, and I'll get back at y'all one more time. I holla at y'all. Peace, baby.